so here's the tea. I looked super cute earlier. I had this really cute outfit on, hair was down and curled. And then I was like, oh, things are so hectic. I can't film right now. So I started like doing family stuff. Then everyone left and now I'm in pajamas with my hair up in a ponytail and I'm like, I'm gonna film. Hey guys, welcome back. Today, I thought it would be fun if we talked about some really crappy makeup and also put it on my face. So I have a bin of some crappy makeup. I took a bunch of it out. I have like foundations, I have eyeshadow pat. There's, there's a lot going on. So I'm not gonna show you everything, but as we get to each category, I'll kind of show you, like if I have more, why am I so out of breath? If I have more than one item for each category, I'll show you guys like, oh, this is also really crappy. Don't buy this. No, I don't want it to be like a bashing video because everybody has, you know the drill, everybody has different wants and needs with their skin, with their makeup. So just because I don't like this foundation doesn't mean that you won't because I just saw somebody have this in a favorites video. Everybody's different. Look how long my hair is. Ooh. Okay, so let's get started. I don't think I have a primer. This primer I'm on the fence with, so we can just use this one because I don't really have one that I really, really don't like. Your Skin But Better Primer Plus Oil-Free Makeup Gripping Base Plus Pore Refining Hydrator. So I've used this one once, that's what it looks like, and I was just kind of like, eh, it's okay. So we'll just put this on. It just feels like water. Ugh, I need a little bit more. I was just watching a video and the person in the video definitely was using a filter. That just butters my biscuits. I think it's so unfair. Like, first off, I can't see the way the makeup's applying, but second off, Girl, you know your skin ain't that flawless. Quit playing games with me. You know? Oh, we're not filling in these pores. <laughs> it's not gonna be good. And now, over top of this unpore filled base, <laughs> we're going in with this guy Natasha Denona Transfer Matte Pore Vanishing Matte Foundation. I forget why I didn't like this. And I think at first I may have liked it. I can't remember. I think I might be able to use 25 NY. Mm, it might be a little bit light. Who cares? This makeup's gonna look terrible. Hmm. And to top it off, I'm using this e.l.f. sponge that I absolutely hated. Ooh, girl, it's so rough. You know, unfortunately, this foundation just looked really dry on my face. It was one of those that I couldn't get to soak in. It looked like it was just sitting on top of my skin. And if I would even bump my face, like with my hand or a tissue or anything, the product would just kind of totally wipe away. The sponge is terrible. Do you hear it? Listen. Can you hear that? What the heck? What the heck? Let's layer it up because we really want that full coverage glam. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this looks so bad. <laughs> the 
There is no soap in there. I don't know why it's making that noise. I look like a ghost. A lip product that surprisingly I didn't like. Glossier Cake? It is, I don't know what the actual name of it is. But that's what it looks like. I hear people rave about this and I was so excited for it. But it, look. It's so dry. Ugh. Like, that is hurting. It's so, it's so dry. Like, I love the color of this. It's just such a dry product. Like, I feel like it's supposed to be kind of like a balm, but there is not one ounce of moisture in it. Now, this isn't terrible, but it's just not my favorite. But I'm not, I don't know, should I keep trying? I feel like I tried it all year and I still don't like it. Mm, oh, that color is so pretty. Hmm. Maybe I don't hate it. I've hated it all year. Maybe I'm being sabotaged. Like someone replaced it with a lip product that's not as bad. What? Okay, I'm done, I swear. For my under eyes. <laughs> this is the worst concealer I've ever used in my life. I said it. Sorry, Tarte. Love ya, but girl, this ain't it. This is like putting thicky Thicky? What is thicky? What is a thicky? Look at my booty, it's thicky girl! This is like putting thick glue on your under eyes and then imagine putting glue on your face and then trying to set it with powder. It gets like, you know when you drop flour balls into like broth and you make like ribbles? <laughs> That's what I feel like this is the start of, but with glue. I'm just gonna put it on. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Okay. It is. Watch, watch me love it. No, I, this I know I hate. Oh my gosh. This is so bad, you guys. Like, I have the driest under eyes in the world. And this just, no. Uh-uh. I just don't understand. You know, it's just bad. It's just bad. Okay. Wow. This foundation looks awful. It's creasing as we speak. I equally, oh my God, I'm so sorry, Natasha. I really, really love Natasha Denona so, so, so much. But this concealer was not it for me. The Transfix Matte Concealer, it was just a little bit too matte for me. Um, This one's in the shade 3W. Oh, this one feels sticky too. Oh, it's that tart one. It's like everywhere. Ooh. She's so dramatic. Oh, girls, watch out. Coming to steal yo man. We're going to finish everything off with a healthy dose of CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Powder in Classic Ivory because I don't look dead enough. Ooh. Ooh. I'm gonna dust this all over. Why not? Okay. <laughs> 
Wow. Another powder that I was not a fan of, Infallible Pro Glow. The shade doesn't really matter. I just didn't like the powder. This one's number 24. What got me was the top of it's like shimmery, but the bottom is matte. I just didn't understand it. And it actually like... I don't know if you're going to be able to see this, but it actually has little flecks of shimmer in it. It's not just luminous. It's shimmer. Like what? Huh? But oh my gosh, my skin looks terrible. Wow. <laughs> okay, let's move on. So we have a few options for my eyes. First, this little wet and wild triangle that they came out with, Mega Glow Eyeshadow Trio. It does not say the name on here, but I will pop it up on the screen if I can find it. These were not good. You look, look at that. Do you what? Huh? Sorry, we don't see anything. They're just not that good. No, sorry. Oh, wow, that's bad. Also, this Makeup Forever Let's Gold palette. I love Makeup Forever. I love Makeup Forever. But this, it wasn't so much the mattes. The mattes in here are great. It's the metallics. They're just lacking a little bit. Let me show you. Like, I'm just doing a normal swatch like I would swatch any other eyeshadows. Do you see those three? Look. They're just very lacking. And I did not do a light swatch. I swear that is how they are. So I want to play with this on my eyes. I saw a video that Tati filmed and she used this on her eyes and it looked so good. And I'm like, wait, that's not the same palette that I have. Like my metallics are not metallic. They're very like dusty almost and there's just no color payoff it, it's pretty bad oh another eyeshadow that was really bad and it's from by terry and you know by terry's very expensive eye designer palette in gem experience so that's what the packaging looks like i've had this for a while but i don't think i've ever talked about it in like a disappointing products video they're just they're not terrible, but for what you pay for by Terry, they're just not that great. They're just, they're not worth the high, high, high price tag. They're just kind of flat. I tried a few times with this one and it would always turn out, wait, I gotta get a wipe. The eye look would always turn out very muddy very like almost the colors would all kind of blend together into one like murky like grayish green shade I don't know it was the weirdest thing so I'm really sorry by Terry I hear the new by Terry hyaluronic powder is that what it's called it's their new loose powder I forget what it's called, but I have been hearing rave reviews about it. So I kind of want to pick that up and try it out and see what the hype is all about. I'm going to start out with a Jaclyn Hill Morphe JH31 brush, and I'm going to dip into soil. We're just going to run that through the crease. The mattes in here are great. I have no complaints about the mattes. So I'm just going to run this through the crease. I don't even know what I'm going to do on my eyes. I kind of want to play with like, I feel like we always do like warm peachy orangey tones. So maybe we'll play with like the greens. See like the mattes are great. No complaints. No complaints when it comes to the mattes whatsoever. It's like so much fun to talk about good makeup, but it's even more fun to talk about bad makeup. But sometimes people get mad and I'm like, listen, just because I don't like it, like I'm not saying it's a bad product. It just didn't work for me, my skin type, my skin tone, like what I'm looking for in the product. 
So just because I'm telling you guys like I don't like this eyeshadow palette that doesn't mean it's bad it just means that it didn't work out for me. So take everything I'm saying with a grain of salt basically. Okay while I have this brush in hand I'm just gonna do a little drag down here. Wow, my skin looks so caked with product. Next, I'm going to take a Smith 247, and I'm going to dip into, let's just go right for it. I'm going to go into this deep brown shade, and I'm just going to smoke this guy out on the outer part of my eye. I'm going to kind of press it in here and then we're going to blend it out. I'm not doing any blending. I'm just pressing it in. See how it's there? Do the same thing on the other eye. Just kind of press it in there. So same brush and just go in and start kind of pulling it out and inward taking a little bit more of that brown and I'm just gonna stamp it and kind of smush it in there because I have very hooded lids especially on the outer part so I almost have like a little crevice that I can get into I have to make sure that I actually like get the brush in there or I will have a little like spot where eyeshadow kind of skips it's weird this matte eyeshadow is actually really nice oh god my forehead it that foundation is just sitting in my little forehead lines. Where is that weird beauty sponge? Ugh. Oh my goodness. Wow. Woo! So to be fair, I am gonna use my base that I always use, my Too Faced Glitter Base, because I would always use this if I was putting a metallic shade on my lid, so I'm not gonna put one of these on without the base and then be like, look, it's terrible. So we're giving it a fair shot, even though this is one of my most favorite products in the world. I'm going to take a little bit of this on my lid. And I'm going to dip into, let's go into this green one. Bullion, is that what it's called? Bullion, right there. It's this beautiful green Okay, with a base, it's not terrible. That's actually really pretty. But without any type of base, like I tried to wear this palette the other day, just going in with the metallics on your lid, even if there's a shadow down as a base, they look terrible. You have to use something underneath. Which I don't always want to use that. Like for day to day, if I'm just kind of rushing and throwing eyeshadow on, sometimes I just want to throw a metallic one and get a little bit of like glimmer. You can't do that with these. You have to put something underneath as a base. That does look pretty though. Really pretty. Wait, am I wrong about this one? You guys. Am I wrong? That looks really pretty. I'm going to take a little bit of this darker green. It's called Treasure. I'm just going to take it on my finger and just pop a little bit like right in here. Okay, I'm not really getting anything, am I? Maybe a little. I don't hate it, but I don't know that I love it. I'm going to take that brush with that darker brown and just run it just lightly under here. I'm 
I'm gonna go into I'm gonna go into this matte green up at the top. It's called Digger. What a weird name for a shadow. Digger. I gotta get a different brush. Uh, Smith 230. I'm gonna pull that down here. Oh, that Tarte concealer is just killing me. It feels so weird. Because even when you set it with powder, I still can feel like the tackiness of it. I don't have an actual eyeliner, although I'm sure there were many that I didn't like. They just didn't make it into my little basket. But I do have this Maybelline eye stick. It was a collab they did with Puma, which overall the whole collab with Puma I thought was... It was weird. It just felt weird to me. Um, there was a highlighter that they did. It was like a rose gold shade. It wasn't my favorite. I may still have it. And if I do, I'll show you. This is a little double-sided number. I'm going to take that like gold shade. I don't mean that the products were all bad. Just the whole collab just felt kind of, I don't know. It was like Hellman's mayonnaise like collabing with Fenty. It was just like, what? You know, I don't know, it was just a weird duo to me. But this actually wasn't terrible. Um, it just wasn't, it, it just wasn't my favorite. Let's see if it does better on the waterline. I tried using it on my lid and it was just a little bit patchy. It looks pretty on the waterline. Let's see if it lasts. It actually looks really pretty. Hmm. Oh, that hurt. Okay. See, there's the two shades. Um, they're not super blendable. And you can see like with that one, you put it on and you get great color. But then when you go to blend it out, it doesn't want to blend. And then you just end up blending it away to nothing. So not my favorite little duo of the year, that's for sure. I'm gonna wipe these eyeshadows off before I make a mess. Okay, LA Girl Volumatic Full On Volumizing Lash Lifting Mascara. <sighs> this wand kind of scares me. So I found with this mascara that it was one of those that you put it on and it's like such a wet formula that you end up looking like you just have three lashes because they all kind of get stuck together in these very tight, like wet little just spikes. Do you know what I mean? And I do not like that. I want some fluffy lashes. So this one, I think I used it twice and I was like, nope, I am done. But we're gonna use it again today for the tube. All right, let's see, maybe it dried out a little. And it's going to be better. One can hope. Oh, it's actually not as bad as it was. It was like such a wet formula. But now it feels like it dried out a little. And that is a good thing. It's giving me some length. I just don't think this is the mascara for me. I do love LA Girl though. Huge fan of LA Girl. I feel like this year, 2019 and even more so, I feel like 2020 is gonna be a really good drugstore year. The drugstore is just killing it with products, but they are getting very expensive. Like you can go to the drugstore and spend like $18 on a foundation. And I'm like, uh, what? My left, eyelashes are the ones that kind of fall if I don't use a waterproof formula so with this heavy formula they're already like they're like right here yep yeah, they're not staying up they are going to bed oh my gosh this freaking forehead oh crap <laughs> I wanted to use this and I forgot it's a lash primer from Milani the violet one lash primer this formula was super duper wet and I put it on and it weighed my lashes down so much. 
So it like when you were using, well, when I was using that LA Girl mascara where I said it gave me like three lashes, if you want that three lash look but you don't have the LA Girl mascara, just get this lash primer and you will be blessed with three eyelashes. Oh my gosh, another eyeshadow that I hated that you're gonna see every year for the rest of eternity. Who knows what I'm about to show. Tom Ford Private Eyeshadow in Breathless. The worst eyeshadow that I've ever touched in my freaking life. Tom Ford, you had the audacity to charge me like 60 bucks for this. I don't know how much it was, but it was very expensive. Look at that. Tom Ford, I'm offended. Could I wear this as a topper? I'm gonna try. This is like five years old, but let's just try to slap it on and see what happens. Nope, nothing. <laughs> Not surprised. Tom Ford, you got me fluffed all the way up. Look, these lashes are like, peace out. We are, we're done. Look, they're, they're heading to the border. Oh my God. They're heading to Mexico. I want to go with you. Take me to Cancun. Oh gosh. That, look. This is terrible. This makeup looks awful. You guys, don't look at my background either. I had to take my tree down, which was heart-wrenching. I feel like I only had my Christmas tree up for like two days, but it was actually up for like a month. It didn't feel like a month. So I'm still like getting my background arranged. There's like nothing on that table, but like a notebook. I don't have a brow product. Hmm. I wanted to use one of these on my eyes. Oh. I, hmm. I totally forgot about these. These, you guys, are terrible. These were not good. Too Faced Crystal Whips. I totally forgot to use one of these. I really wanted to use one. Okay, this one is Club Kid. Look at this color so good like it kind of matches mine actually it matches my nails perfectly Ugh. Mm -hmm. just hanging around <laughs> so pretty but when you start to blend it in it pulls everything off that's underneath like any base or any eyeshadow you have on it's gone and it fades away to nothing I tried with this one in particular like three times and the third time I was like, I am done. I'm gonna use this little Thrive Infinity Waterproof Brow Liner. This was not terrible, it just wasn't my favorite. It got a little bit patchy on me, like I would find that if I use the product too much in one area, it would kind of like what I it was able to be wiped away super easily and then when I would go back to try to fill that spot in it got this like waxy finish on my skin or like on my brow like I have a bald spot on my right brow from a accident when I was a kid and it wouldn't let me fill that spot in it would put this like waxy finish onto my skin and when I would try to put more brow product on it it wouldn't let me do it it was just kind of odd I'm gonna take this shade on my inner corner. Now that I've done the brows, we can do the brow bone. All right, hot shot. Mm. Mm. I'm just like, so over this look right now, you have no idea. Milani Intense Bronze Glow, face and body liquid bronzer. Face and body. All right, here, I'm gonna put it on my body. But uh, look at this. There is nothing subtle about that it's look at that it's chunks of glitter like big chunks can you imagine putting this on your face look at that 
its chunks. Face? Who would put this on their face? Never. I love you, Milani, but no. Deuces. Every time I tell someone I don't like this product, they're like, what are you talking about? It's so good. Erin just did it today. I showed her this and she's like, what? That is so good. And I'm like, I don't like it. So it's the Cover Effects Monochromatic Bronzer Duo in Sun-Kissed Bronze. The, it just... It just didn't do it for me. I don't know why. I'm gonna try again though, maybe I was wrong. I'm gonna take a mixture of both, how about that? Okay. Maybe I was wrong. I kind of love this. What's happening? What? Oh my God, I'm shook at the... Okay, I think what the problem was, when I was using it before, I was only using the matte side, but when you mix in this like luminous, bronzery side, the combination of the two is beautiful. Like this blended out so well, as well as it could on this terrible base that I have on. But oh my gosh, it looks so pretty. Hello. You're on video. Well, I'm on video. Um, you were right. I know. Now you need now you need the blush in warm peach or I think it's warm honey, warm honey. Oh my god, I was wrong. I'm sorry. It's okay. All right, thanks. I get to finish. Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Listen, it's not the best bronzer job ever because my base is a torrential downpour. My base is a torrential downpour. That's what I just said. Okay, for blush, I know I'm not wrong about this one. Neutrogena Cheeky Wink Flushed Blush in the shade what? First Crush. It is not good. So I think it's supposed to be that like bouncy. Remember when L'Oreal and Maybelline had like bouncy blushes? But this one just didn't, it, it does nothing. I'm gonna use my finger. Does nothing. I'm not joking. I'll try it with a brush. Oh, that's awful. not doing anything you have to like smush your brush together oh oh no no I hate this this is not good it's really not good I'm so disgusted with all this makeup right now except for you looks like a little bar of soap doesn't it like mm, getting in the shower <laughs> I can't remember if I talked about this previously, like in a disappointing products video. This L'Oreal Lumi Glow Nude. This is so bad, you guys. Look, let me just give you a couple swatches. Look at that. Look at my index finger.
it's terrible. I'm all about like a subtle girl next door, super like basic highlight. These are chalky, they're powdery, they have no punch to them. They're, it's just not good, it's just not good. Another one, this Fresh and Frosted from Sugar Rush. Now I love Sugar Rush. But this was very glittery. Do you see the pieces of glitter in there? And it is so heavy. They are insanely heavy. Gorgeous. Like when you swatch it, you're like, oh, that's beautiful. Do you see how heavy they are? Oh, you really have to work these into the skin. Like you really have to work them out. And even once you work them out, you are left with so much glitter. Beautiful, like gorgeous. You could use this on your body. This would be really pretty on your body, but on the face, it's just a little too heavy for me. I'm gonna put it on though. I'm gonna do this on one side and the L'Oreal on the other side. I quit. Okay, and we're gonna use this guy on the other side. I'm gonna use the peachy one and the gold one. Ooh. No. These will really like amplify texture. Now the L'Oreal ones didn't really like mess with texture or anything. They just need a little bit more of like a sheen to them. And the formula is just so, so powdery. No, I'm sorry L'Oreal, I really love you and I love the whole True Match line, but that for me was, was not, not good. Another highlighter I didn't like, CoverGirl True Blend Super Stunner Hyper Glow Gilded Glory. The color is beautiful, but the formula is, it's a little powdery, it's a little bit like crumbly, and I just didn't think you got that much of a punch. It, it, it's too dusty, and it's too powdery. Sometimes the drugstore really kills it with highlighters. Other times they totally, totally miss the mark. It's very sad. I'll put this CoverGirl one on. Ooh. Ooh. Here. Ooh, girl. Looks like two devil horns. I'll put a little on my nose because it's not accentuated enough. It's like orange. No. Mm -mm. Okay, and then for lips. I love you, Jacqueline. Oh, you guys. You know, I brought up Maybelline and Puma earlier. Um, this product is so bad. Color and Gloss Face Duo Stick. What the flunk is this? One side is this like muted red and the other side is this like iridescent white. And it is so greasy. I'm not exaggerating. It is so greasy. Like I'm putting it on. Like what would you even do with this? Is it apply color side on skin, use gloss side on top of it? Okay. 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 
Am I looking pretty yet, Danny? Oh my god. Look at all the product it's pulling off of my face. I am so offended. What the f fudge balls is that? Uh uh. No, 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 no. The ColourPop So Juicy Plumping Glosses. I know people like them. This one's called She's Here, but she's here. I just did not like this formula. It's so, oh, it's like bubbling. What are you doing? Ugh, ugh. It's so sticky. I just don't like it. I really want to like it, but I don't. It's just... It's so sticky. I really wanted to love these. Like, I really, really wanted to love these. They're a little minty. The colors are so good. So pretty on, but so, so sticky. I just really didn't like these. They were too sticky, too goopy, and like if you put too much on, you get those lines on your lips, like when you open. You know what I mean. They're, it's, they're gorgeous. Like to look at them, I'm like, oh my God, I love this. It's so beautiful and glistening and gorgeous, but they're too sticky for me. Okay, so my battery's about to die, but we finally got through this video. There are a few products that I didn't show you guys that I'm just going to pop up at the end. I'll kind of show you and maybe give some bullet points on why I didn't love them. But um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. This was kind of a cluster. Okay, a foundation that I did not get along with was the Vanish Foundation from Hourglass. Now, this was just way too concentrated a formula, way too much coverage for me way too heavy, but I'm like a tinted moisturizer, you know, light foundation kind of girl. So this just wasn't, it just wasn't made for me. Wasn't a fan of these fruit cocktail blush duos from Too Faced. This one is Papaya Pop. Now the bronzer side has chunks of shimmer in it, like actual pieces of glitter. I just found the formula to be a little, I don't know, on the drier side, and I probably could have gotten along with it if it wasn't for those actual pieces of glitter that are in the formula. Get rid of that glitter and I probably would have gotten down with this. This is the one in berries and bubbly. I don't know if you're going to be able to see the actual chunks of glitter in them. I just don't understand why. Because other than that, they probably would have been a decent product but I just can't get down with that glitter. See, that's really pretty, but eh, it's a little powdery in person. It looks really nice on the monitor, but in person it, it it's a kind of dusty formula. And man, that glitter is just popping. I didn't love this Wet n Wild highlighting bar. I don't know what the shade is, it doesn't say, but it's the one that has the Little Mermaid on the front. I thought I was gonna love this, because like to swatch it, it looks like it's gonna be really pretty. But then when you put it on, it, it almost has a bit of like a gray undertone. On the face, this pulled very gray on me. And again, it has pieces of actual glitter in it, which I just don't understand. Oh, so close yet so far. Oh, ColourPop, how I love you. I adore ColourPop. I have a lot of their products in my best of 2019, but these Jelly Much eyeshadows, this was my favorite one, and I was so excited about this one, you guys. It's called Big Ego. Do you see how gorgeous that is? Like, that is so my kind of color. Look at my nails. The formula dries out in... I'm telling you, less than a month, every single one that I own, see that is gorgeous, but the formula has totally gone from like a jelly formula to this really dry, 
like crumbly mess. You can see it's like, look, it's just coming out in pieces. I love this color. ColourPop, please do an eyeshadow in this exact shade. It is gorgeous. I love it enough that I would probably attempt to put this on my eye as dry as it is because that color just speaks to my body. But the Peach Blur Translucent Smoothing Finishing Powder from Too Faced. I am still very confused by this product. I don't understand what it's supposed to do. It's a translucent powder, but it has a pink tint to it, but it doesn't really do anything. Like it's, it's kind of nothing. I, I just don't understand this at all. When you put it on your face, it gives you this dusty pink finish to your face. Like you can actually see the dustiness on your face. What? was this supposed to be? I don't know. I wanted to love it and I thought I would because it feels kind of like the NARS crystal powder. It feels like nothing, but eh, no. Oh, sorry Too Faced. This was really bad. Really bad. Very sad to report that I have a NARS product in my disappointing products. I love NARS. They're my favorite high-end brand. The Orgasm Lip Oil. So this starts out beautiful. It's this nice oil that feels comfortable on the lips, but this oxidizes into the hottest pink that I've ever seen in my life. So I wore it, like I put it on and I'm like, oh, that's so soft and beautiful. Like it's so natural, like next to nothing. And then maybe like 20 minutes later, I looked in the mirror and my lips were neon pink. Cause I want it to look like this. That is gorgeous. And it's very comfortable on, but it oxidizes in a very weird way on me. I mean, it gets neon like you see the color of this applicator that's the color it turns on my lips and it is not cute have to mention the mac art library it's designer palette this was just such an odd palette for me there is one shade in this palette that i love so stinking much let me give you a little swatch it is gorgeous i've worn it numerous times and i absolutely love it. That is why I've kept this palette for that one eyeshadow. But all of the other shades in here are very dry. Look at this. Do you see that one I just swatched? So dusty and dry. And it doesn't even feel like MAC eyeshadow to me. I don't know what happened to the rest of these eyeshadows. How one could be so glorious and then the other ones are a dry like tons of kick up, very fluff. They like fluff everywhere when you dip your brush in. No, 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 Mac. But this shadow, please give me that in a single because I will buy five. If you're curious, that shade is called Starry Night and it is phenomenal. You can see the difference on my finger. See how glossy and amazing my index finger looks and then these two look so dusty and just bad. Mm -mm. It was a fail, Mac. I'm sorry, but I do love you. Scout's Honor. Three? Scout's Honor? Peace. That's going to do it for me. So I love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Let me know down below your disappointing products. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Oh my God. See what I mean about this freaking lip gloss? I'm like, oh my God, this is so bad. I can't even talk about it. It's not a good day for this makeup. It's a good day. <laughs> oh, girl, what is that? Oh, my God. I am offended. You know, coverage, I'm not like, ooh, give me that beat. Beat my face, girl. No, I'm like, ooh, give me that tinted moisturizer. <laughs> Thank you so much. I know, we're just not made for each other. We, maybe in a different world we could be together, but our families are just from two different places, so we, we just can't be together. It's like Romeo and Juliet. We just can't do it. How's my lighting? Terrible. You know, I thought about doing the keto diet, but then I realized that I couldn't have any sugar, and I was like, mm, no, because I would murder a whole community of people without candy. That is never going to happen.